Welcome to WTDC 17 in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Brahim Asano, who is the Director of the Telecommunication Development Bureau for ITU. Mr. Asano, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Very great. Great to have you here. Thank you very much. Now, this year we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of uh, the Telecommunications Development Bureau. I wanted to find out from you why is that important and uh, essentially uh, you know, what, what's, uh, what's been celebrated here. You always build your future on your past. Over the past 25 years, telecommunication development sector, including Telecommunication Development Bureau, have been working to put ICT in the hands of people. You see today the development of the mobile phone, the development of applications, all this as a result of the work of the telecommunication development sector. Of course, the journey is still very long because we still have 3.9 billion people who are not yet connected. However, it's always good to stop and celebrate what we did and to get energy from this celebration to continue for the journey to come. This is what we did here. And I was very happy that uh, the past, these four previous directors of BDT accepted my invitation to join me. I was so, I felt so, so humbled and so privileged to have them with me because they are the one actually who started this journey I'm continuing. And of course, you've been with BDT for many years, and there's been a number of uh, obviously changes throughout that time. And uh, so, uh, I, I know we heard plenty of stories from uh, the previous directors as well of uh, how uh, things have changed from the beginning from the to, to, to today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this conference now. I mean, we're here at uh, WTDC 17. It's uh, a conference which is obviously looking at uh, telecommunication development. Uh, what the theme this year is, is ICT for SDGs. I really wanted to find out what's the importance of this conference. It's a very important event in the BDT, in the BDT calendar, but also in the ITU calendar. And its theme, ICTs for SDGs. Yes, you know, the world, our highest decision-making uh, bodies at the UN General Assembly adopted the Sustainable Development Goals in September 2015. Soon after that, when you see the way ICTs are really being used by all the countries, by all the people today, when you see today the way ICTs, particularly mobile communication, have empowered uh, people in the rural areas who never have uh, had access to any uh, new technology before. When you see that, you tell yourself this is a golden platform for accelerating the attainment of SDGs. This is the essence of the meaning of this thing. How can we make ICT work for people? How can we empower people and economies, particularly in developing countries, using ICT to achieve the goals? For example, in education. How can you use ICT for learning to make sure that we are inclusive when it comes to education? Not only education for formal education, even awareness raising. How can you use ICT? I think that is a perfect tool. In the, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, examples. In the case of health sector, health sector actually, uh, over the past year, I've been working with UNESCO, working with WHO, working with FAO, to make sure that we streamline ICT in their work. And this will help them accelerate. So this is what it is about. So this is a cross-cutting sector and we should play our role. If you fail to play it, we're failing to accelerate the, develop, the attainment of the SDGs. This is what it is about. And why is this conference important? Conference support, this conference is important because this conference is held once every four years. And it give an opportunity to get in the same location, the same venue, ministers, regulators, operators, private sectors, investors, to have all the ecosystem of the ICT to come together and discuss and create consensus and create direction where everybody will go in the converged manner 
to actually uh, achieve the goals in the development of ICT as a level of the countries, as a level of the regions, and globally in the world. What's your overall view of the deliberations that have been taking place here at WTVC? I must say it's beyond my expectation because we went very far beyond the administrative side of the conferences. We have fabulous side events that are really talking about development. We have a side event on the emergency telecommunications. We have side events on uh, universal health coverage. Your side event on agriculture, your side event on, uh, on a, a small island development state, we have side event accessibility where we get all the stakeholders on a neutral platform to see how we can do. This was really, uh, I would say, and when you see the people who attended those meetings and the variety, the different views, and how they converge, it was really, I think that uh, I feel proud of organizing the study event because they brought together the real people to talk about the real issue, not just to discuss, but at the end, come up with conclusions they'll go back and use together to make, to make a difference in the lives of people. Now, looking at the, the, the plenary sessions here, what are the expected outcomes of WTDC 17? Oh, we have, for me, we have two kind of expected outputs. The first is will be, of course, the text, I would say the legal, not the legal, uh, uh, the report output in terms of report. One will be the declaration. And the declaration is the ITU community and ICT community talking to the world, T telling the world what we plan to do for this world to be a better place. And you have the strategic plan where actually we're getting down to business to say how strategically we are going to implement the declaration. This is the second document. And the third document is the open action plan. The action plan is coming down to say every day, on a daily basis, what are we going to do to fulfill the strategic plan in order to fulfill the declaration we are telling people outside. So these are the three main documents. But I would like to go beyond that. You know, these are texts. But beyond that, we gather so many people here. We gather more than 1,200 people coming from more than 130 countries, companies, investors, uh, and all those come together with the result of their discussion that never may not appear in those texts are, are just fantastic and incredible, incredible for what we're going, how we are going to shape the future together because the most important to shape the future together, all the stakeholders to get together to shape the future together. This is one of very important uh, achievements for this conference. Well, we've had some extremely positive feedback from the ministers and from the private sector and uh, all of the guests that have been in the studio here. And so we wish you the very best for the last few days of the conference. Thank you very much. I think so. I let me use this opportunity also uh, really to express my deepest gratitude to the authorities of this country, to all those who have been involved in the preparation, in the running of this conference. They just did a fantastic work, and this is one of the reasons of the success, because the, the, um, the facilities put at our disposal are just fantastic, so. And I wanted to ask you, finally, just is there a key message? Is there, is there something that's really struck you from this conference that you would like to impart to, of course, our, the, everyone who's here, but the, our, our wider audience as well? The key, my key message, let's, let us just go and do it, and do it well for the betterment of the world. ICT can empower that. Mr. Senator, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.